Hi, good morning, guys. I'm joined this morning by Matt Cordner, who's the global malts ambassador for Bacardi. Uh, we're just going to have a little bit of a, a chat about our next tasting, which is going to be on the 3rd of March. Um, so just hand over to Matt and we'll have a bit of a, a chat about what whiskies and a little bit about what we'll be doing. Brilliant. Thanks for the, the intro there, Adrian. So, yeah, cannot wait uh, for this session coming up on the 3rd. Um, we are doing a bit of a deep dive across three of our distilleries within our group uh, under John Duren's son's kind of the, the head company for us, uh, Anything Whiskey under Bacardi. Um, we have our hallmark distillery, the, the kind of one that started it all for us, our love of whiskey, uh, which is Aberfeldy, um, quite often known as the Golden Dram. Again, we've got a lovely little story behind that, which I'll be sharing with you in the session. There and, uh, as my glamorous assistant, thanks Adrian uh, for that one, <laughs> it's holding up there. We'll be giving your sort of welcome to the family, welcome to the range, which is the Aberfeldy 12. And again, if you've never had Aberfeldy <laughs> before, this is the one to get started with. And I think for fans of Aberfeldy, it's a great one to always come back to as well. Um, as well as Aberfeldy, um, I had to fit this next one in as uh, it is my hometown, one I'm extremely biased about, uh, which is the wonderful Kregelke Distillery. So uh, a rather unusual Speyside whiskey, uh, known to be old fashioned kind of in its ways of doing things. And again, all will be explained in this session, but for anybody um, who's a fan of Space Side, something a little bit unusual for you, although it is a Space Side, um, but definitely a firm favorite for me uh, being my hometown. Um, and then last but not least, uh, our oldest distillery uh, within our portfolio and one of the oldest distilleries in Scotland as well. Uh, we have the amazing Royal Brackla Distillery. Um, so again, founded in 1812. Um, and again, the first distillery uh, to gain the right to use the word Royal in its distillery name. And for me, you cannot tell the story of Scotch whiskey uh, without giving a little nod to Royal Brackla. So lots of uh, amazing history and uh, fun facts to unpack with that one. So yeah, I think it's going to be a great action-packed uh, session. Three wonderful distilleries. So say this will, will really be sort of an introduction session uh, to Theodore Distillers, and I'm sure we'll, we'll uh, follow it up uh, sometime down the line with a bit more of a deep dive into each individual one. But I think a great session to start Perfect. off uh, our journey with you guys there, Adrian. Amazing. Absolutely amazing, Matt. Matt, thank you so much. I'm really, really looking forward into it and getting a little bit of a different taste across the, the, the different whiskies that we're going to be tasting, giving us an idea of some of the, the, the range within the John Jewers and Sons there with, with you guys. So look forward very much to catching up with you on the third. Um, and in the meantime, have a great trip away and we will catch up with you very soon. Thank you very much. Look Cheers, forward Matt. to seeing you guys Take there. Care. Cheers. Cheers. Bye for now. Bye.